Hey guys, <clears throat> I get a lot of questions about, hey, can you help me create a logo, a logo, can you help me do a logo? So what I've done is I've mocked up several logos that um, I've either done on my own or found across the internet, just to give you guys some inspiration. Uh, if I found them out at an interesting company that I like their logo, then I've brought it into motion here so I can show you guys. And maybe at the after showing you all some examples here, we're going to make our own logo. So as you can see, this one here is a good example. Piano trees. As you can see, the little forest there looks like uh, trees. But in turn, you can look at it as piano keys as well. I just uh, took a roto shape or a, spot or a shape tool and just made me a tree, a rough tree, and duplicated it out. And that was it. It really just takes some innovation. Now this one here I was doing... I've just marked out some as simple as something as marking out some letters and it makes right. You can see it's wrong and it's just a neat little play on words. This one here is really nice. I mocked this one up and it says volume and I think it's got a really clean look to it. It could be um, there is a company called Volume Studios so I don't suggest you use this but um, you can see that this is a very clean and very nice looking logo. And this one here is simple. Time watch. Um, just some regular text with a little twist of the colons in the middle there. And something that small is enough to make you go, huh, that's pretty neat. Let's see. Let's save this one. And I always like to save it to an external drive just so I can have it for whenever. This one here, I just this one's here is an easy mock-up. It's just some letters turned on its side to make it look flat. Really, really simple stuff there. This one here says highway. It could be highway incorporated or highway studios. You can see the H, the play on the H looks like a highway with the white lines down the middle, the white you know, the white dots down the middle. All these are very simple, just kind of like a play on words or a play on design. This one is really nice. I like these. This, this, I like this logo. I just took a roto shape. I seen this online. I just took a roto shape and click, 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 clicked out my butterfly shape, flopped it, and put socialbutterfly.com. Okay, so this is a really really nifty play on shapes as you can see social butterfly you can see two faces facing each other as they're talking kinda of like social they're socializing but it's also a butterfly so it's a social butterfly very nifty so let's get a a new one here so what kind of logo can we make um, we could you could have a play on words. Let's see here. Let's create a shape. Um, I want to click here and here, and you'll see what I'm making as we go through here. I'm gonna adjust this in like this. That looks pretty good. Okay. Let's go ahead. I'm going to now. I'm going to make another shape. And this one's going to be a little bit longer. Like so. I'll go around here like this. And I can adjust this later. Okay, it's looking okay, I guess. We'll put it like this. That's looking good. Now it kind of looks like I'm trying to just make it look like a rough footprint. Okay. And you can see this is just just doing a play on just a play on words, a play on shapes. Really, I mean, this doesn't look like a footprint per se. But when we get down to the logo, you'll think it's a footprint because of the logo itself. Let's edit our points here. Let's smooth this out a little bit like that okay that that's looking okay now now let's go ahead and get our text tool let's go ahead and write the, the letter F let's make it bigger I don't like that font 
Aerial black's good and everything, but I'm not real big on that for what we're doing here. I'm going to rotate this around like this. You see where I'm going with this? Let's get another one, another text tool. And this time I'm going to make it T. Now, yeah, I bet you can really see where I'm going with this. So coming up with an interesting logo is really comes down to your imagination. Okay, there we go. There's that. So let's just make one more. Let's go down here at the bottom and we'll say... Footprint. And that's on play, isn't it? Footprint ink. And we'll rotate it around. Squish her down a little bit. Stretch it out. Now you can do this several ways. You can adjust the tracking if you don't want to stretch it. Let's try a different font for that. Um, maybe Arial will work for that. There we go. That looks a little better. As a matter of fact, I think I'm going to change these to Arial as well. Just not Arial Black. Arial Black's a little too thick. I don't know if I like that better or not. What about you guys? Let's try the T here. We'll make it Arial. There we go. Footprint Incorporated. Now, of course, you can go in and do several things with this shape. You can give it an outline if you so choose. And let's make it a little thicker. And we'll do the same thing here. We'll make it gray. Make it a little thicker. Okay, now let's see what now if you want to, we can add some behaviors to this. Let's see, let's go back to let's, let's open up our project. Let's select our first Bezier shape here. Let's go to the beginning. And let's go to our properties and let's scale this sucker way up like this. There we go. Now I'm going to grab my second Bezier shape and scale it way up like this. Okay. Now we're going to turn on my record button. I'm going to set a keyframe by going over here and saying add keyframe for both of these shapes. I'm going to move forward in the timeline a little bit. And I'm going to set my size back down to 100% on both these shapes. And since I got the record key on, it should have automatically set keyframes for me. And there we go. Okay, now let's go ahead and add a behavior, basic motion, fade in, fade out. And let's take that fade out and turn it off. Let's hold our option key, click our fade in, fade out, and drag it to copy it onto our other shape. Now you can see our footprints coming in. So we want our text to not come in until our footprints come in. So I'm going to select each of them and hit the I where I think I about where I want them to come in. So now these will fade in like this. Now those will come in. So what could we do with these? I guess we could have them. I don't know. What kind of behavior could we give them? Um... How about bounce in? Let's try that. Let's drag bounce in there. And see what happens here with the F. There it comes. It's a little bit fast, if you ask me. So let's open up our controls. And let's take our speed to ease both. And this kind of thing we can experiment. We can use, experiment with the sequencing. Depends on how you want it. Or sequencing to, sequencing from, through, sequencing through. Okay, that looks okay. Let's go ahead and alt, shift, drag. And, well, first, let's park our playhead where we want. Right to the beginning of our first behavior, just to be safe. Alt, click, drag our behavior onto our T. 
Okay, so we can copy it, and it'll be the same exact behavior. Now let's take our bounce, and let's lengthen it out a little bit. So maybe the bounce won't be so fast. Okay, now that that's done, let's have our print media. What can our print media text do? We don't want it to come into about right after the T and the F start bouncing. So I'll put my playhead right to where they quit bouncing and hit the I key with the print text selected and it'll take it, trim it to that. So what kind of behavior can we give our our um, print text. How about, I don't know, let's look for something different that nobody uses. Inflate. How about inflate? We'll take some of our inflate behavior and we'll drop it right on our print ink. Now as you can see that's gonna come in like that. So let's go ahead and adjust this. Let's see if this helps any by making it longer. Yeah, we're going to have to adjust our behavior, too, because it's coming in a little late. Okay, that might work. Let's see what we got here. I don't like that little... I don't know what that little flash is right there. So... I'm going to trim it to fix that. Yeah, I don't know what's making that little flash there. Let's see here. I think it might be my bounce behavior. There we go. That was fixed. That's what it was. It was just my bounce behavior was a little bit off when it, on my uh, length of it there. So now as you can see, let's close our project. We have a really simple logo and it's unique and it's something somebody will remember. Okay? You can see we've done this really fast. Let me deselect everything. And of course you can do much better, but here it comes in. Now that'll bounce in. Footprint Incorporated. So it's all about your marbles, guys. Use your brain. Use a play on words. And use a play on your symbols. And make sure you're going to use something that's going to pop out. And they're going to remember it. They're going to go, huh, that's pretty unique. That little footprint coming down there as the O's in the letter foot. You know, somebody would remember something like that. So um, I hope this has helped give you some ideas that's sprung into your brain and maybe you all can come up with some neat logos on your own uh, I don't care a bit to help you I've tons and tons and tons of logos out there that I or and uh, that I've done or have seen and if you need help I don't care a bit to help you but get in there and see what you can come up with on your own I really think you'd be surprised with yourself thanks for watching guys see you next time